Hello, here's another edition of The Witching Hour. Hope you're all just enjoying your nice cozy autumn so far, and I hope you've enjoyed moving a little bit more spooky. I've got a really special fun game for you today, kind of celebrating uh, classic video games. Uh, one of the things I really like are classic uh, PS1 style horror games, but today's horror game is in the style of Nintendo 64, so I hope you enjoy that. And here's our story. Hello? Have you ever seen a ghost? Have you ever heard stories about people who have seen ghosts? Things are strange and paranormal and sometimes we can't explain them. But is there really such a thing as ghostly activity? Well, here's a story called The White Lady of the I-70 Overpass by Linda J. Dunn. Tina stood near the bridge watching and waiting. It'd be soon now, very soon. She could already hear the voices as they carried their ammunition to the overpass. Gary said, I don't think we should do this, Bob. What's the matter, Bob asked, scared. Gary shrugged. No, yes, I'm afraid we might hurt somebody. Don't worry, Bob said. We're not dropping ten-pound rocks in the cars. We're just going to sprinkle a little gravel on the windshield. Ain't nobody going to get killed. We'll just spook them. That's all. Come on, it'll be fun. I don't know, I think. Whatever Gary thought was left unsaid. As the fog cleared and Tina stepped forward, the moon was full tonight and she smiled as she walked toward them. Everything would be all right now. The boys looked up with their faces turned deathly white before they screamed and ran away. Tina looked below as a new blue station wagon drove under the overpass, my mother's car. Tina felt her body shimmer and fade away. The haunting was over. She was free. Gary sat up in bed, sweat running down his forehead as he choked back a scream. Are you all right? Tina asked. He nodded. That same nightmare again. I really wish you'd tell me about it. Gary sighed and laid down again. It's weird. I just keep dreaming about something that happened years ago. Only different. Horribly different. Can you describe it? Gary shivered as the moonlight cast pale shadows of the bedroom. I dreamt I was at the, went to the overpass in Halloween with Bob. We were going to throw gravel off the overpass and cars driving under it. Gary, that's a terrible thing to do. People... I know. Relax. We didn't do it. He paused and took a deep breath. I told you the road near here is haunted. Remember that there's a white lady? <laughs> Tina laughed. Every place seems to have a legend of a female ghost dressed in white. You'd think ghosts would have a little more variety in their clothing. Why not red or blue? It's not a joke. Gary shook his head. Bob and I both saw it that night, and we ran. Neither one of us ever went there at night again. It was probably a patch of fog or some trek of the light. No, he hesitated a moment before adding. We both saw her. The ghost was real. Gary turned toward her. In the dream, Bob and I go to the bridge, but the ghost never shows up. Instead, we throw some gravel off the first set of headlights we see approaching. He paused and sighed. The driver loses control and crashes into a ditch. A woman staggers out of the car a few moments later, covered with blood and crying. Her little girl's dead. Tears rolled down his cheeks, and his voice shook as he added, And I see a girl's face for the first time. He stared at Tina for a, the girl's face for the first time. He stared at Tina for a long moment before adding, It's you. Tina closed her eyes and remembered. It all came flooding back like it happened yesterday. Gary's dream was the way it really happened. She wasn't here. She hadn't lived long enough to be here. Tina held Gary tightly in her arms until he fell asleep again. Then she got out of bed and walked to the window. The security light illuminated the old station wagon she, she had bought from her parents. How was it in one piece now? It had crashed. She had died. How could she and the car both be here when she should be cold in the grave and the car in some junkyard? Tina turned and looked toward the road. That lonely strip of the overpass near the house had always haunted her. Now she knew why, and she knew what she had to do. She slipped on her robe and tennis shoes and walked out the door. A light fog closed around her, and she walked up the hill toward the overpass. Tina stood near the bridge, watching and waiting. It would be very soon now, very soon. She could already hear their voices as they carried their ammunition to the overpass. What's really happening in this story? Is Tina really a ghost? Is she some part of Gary's nightmares about past regrets, about causing a car accident with his friend Bob? Well, hopefully, you don't encounter a a ghost this Halloween. And remember, don't throw gravel off overpasses at passing cars because you don't want to be responsible and become the next victim of a haunting. We'll see you next time. Hello, everyone! With the success and revelation of the Super Mario Bros. movie teaser trailer, this seemed like an appropriate game to play. This is worse than Chris Pratt voicing Mario, guys. Oh my god, I'm so outraged at that. He doesn't sound natural at all. It should have totally been the other guy. <laughs> That's the real horror of Halloween. Anyway, now that we've gotten that out of our system, let's play Another Princess is in Our Castle, a Super Mario 64 horror game. 
This demo doesn't have checkpoints. Pe well, don't spoil that for me. Let's do medium. Oh, hey, here's a key. Okay, so I'm Mario, by the way. Press the uh, left mouse button to grab the key. Okay, I can run. There's a stamina bar, and I can... Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Is this gonna have jump scares? Is there gonna... It's the... They recreated the castle from Super Mario 64. So I'm... I'm... Oh. The water... is water in the mode. I haven't beat that level where all the water goes away yet. Okay, this is gonna be absolutely, like, amazing. I have to make sure I, I don't record for too long. You know how it is. I like to go fairly sl uh not too long with these things. No, I guess we always have a stamina bar. I also have zero stars, which is disappointing. Oh, it has the music even. So, I don't remember very well where any of these places are. Let's go. You can't go in there just yet. You can't go in there just yet. Can we look in the bigger treasure chest? Oh, I can hide. Okay. This even has hide mechanics. Oh my gosh. Well, I know I don't have any stars. I wouldn't be able to go through the star door. Can I, can I go in here? You need a key! Oh! I'm... Actually, I should voice Mario like this. Yeah. Oh, look. It's Princess Peach. Hello, Peach. Uh... Too bad! Too bad for you! Okay, so there's like a scary peach in here. So Peach has never speed. Here's you when you walk, run nearby. I can see you hiding in a chest if she's too close. And I can't go to easy or hard. There's no other difficulty. There's only medium. Okay, so let's just see if we can... So I have to do that and hide in the chest right away, like immediately, I think. I, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. We're going to try again. So this is like one of those, those those jump and run games where you're a bit like Slender Man or whatever, I guess, where you're supposed to collect all the pages. And... Let's make sure this is correct. Okay, so the instant I get this, we hide in it. She's just gonna come. Oh wow, she even does that. That's amazing. So it's like weird spooky ghost peach with like... I guess she's cut out like a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic. Oh, she's down there. Oh, there's Toad. I want the statue. Okay, what is this supposed to be? Like, she just knows... She saw me or something. Mario. This game is bizarre. It's, I'm not very good at these types of games, so I don't play it too long. I played a weird one about the Easter Bunny the one time on last Easter. Like, Easter Bunny Horror. And he just, like never showed up to chase me. It's funny. Okay, what well, is she gonna go in a door down there or something? Is that what she's doing? I guess she left. Oh well, let's there's a toad statue down there. I'm sure I can't go in here without like so many stars, right? I need all the statuettes to go in there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure if I get this toad statue, she'll show up. Oh, no, she did oh, she I thought she was somewhere else. She came out that door, of course. I wouldn't have hid there if I'd known she was going to be right there. Okay, well, this is the only game that I downloaded that was free, so we'll play a couple more times. 
I'll see if I can do this in a different order. I think I, I, I'm guessing it will tell me I can't go in that door yet. You can't go that way yet. You can't go that way yet. I can't go in any of the paintings either. I probably can't go down here either. No, I don't think there was even a door down there. Never mind, I'm not even gonna bother. It's just weird. It's it's basic. This is who would have thought? It's just like how I played Scooby Horror last year. It's like so it'll probably tell me you can't go in these doors yet or whatever. No. Okay. So yeah, I have to get that first one. I'll I'll, I'll play it two more times. I don't intend to actually beat this. I, I'm I'm just gonna see. It's not that scary. But it's one of those, oh wait, that's the one I need a key for. It's this door over here. We have to get, I mean, I get the peach statue first. I like that this is called another, I like that someone even came up with this con. I like that someone came up with the concept of this though. Like an evil princess peach chases you around. Mario. She's spooky too. Jeez, I, I love it. Okay, let's not move too quick though. Peachy's got it! Yeah! Peachy's got it! I don't know what that sound means, if it's just part of the music or... I actually want to try to go in one of the doors now. Like maybe this one over here. I just want to see what's in these doors. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm guessing every single time I get one of these, she shows up. So if I get the chain chomp. No? Just not automatically show up. Uh? She might come looking for me now, since she was right there. Oh, come on. You better not come immediately right over here and get me. You, you can't be allowed to do that. No, you didn't see me go in the chest. That would be cheap. You weren't even in the room. Yeah. That's right. You leave, Ghost Peach. <laughs> I would, now, if the Super Mario Bros. movie was about Mario running away from Ghost Peach, I would love that. Now, I, I, I actually like Chris Pratt being... I like the Chris Pratt voice. I have absolutely zero problems with this. Oh yes, go up there. That's a great place for you to be. It is absolutely a great place for you to be. Let's see what's in door number two. Yeah, there's gonna be like a pic a statue in each one of these rooms where there would have been one one of the stars. Can't go inside the painting. I like the frosty world. I don't know if she gets tougher after you get so many of them, like in, like some of the other slender. Oh, she might be coming. She is coming. I hope she didn't see me come in the chest. She didn't make the like noises like she knew where I was. So hopefully. Mario. Yeah, she does come to investigate when you get the things. That's what I thought. Or that was just or maybe it was just coincidence that she showed up here, but I I might have too much guts here. Yeah, of all the things to come up with, this is exactly the type of game I like to play though. This might be Don't come back on the room, Peach. Come on, leave. You you leave. I hope I can see where she went. Let's go to the... A 
feel like she went that way. I'll go to Lethal Lava Land. She didn't see me. Oh, this is just outside. Okay, but there's a statue out here. And nowhere to hide once I get it. There's a chest over there. Okay. This is like a dangerous... This is the dangerous game. I got four. This is going to be the last playthrough. I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Even if she gets me like right now. This has been entertaining. So I think that thing in the middle is Peach's like gravestone or something. I I imagine I can't run away from her if she sees me. Speaking of which, I might be doomed right now. This might be it. This might be it. This is it, true believers. Unless Mario can hide in the thing from Peach, most of the human race will be wiped out. No. Now I'm going to have to wait for her to go back up the hallway. Yeah, there aren't any other things in here. I got to this with her. Oh, she's looking. She's coming over here to look for me. She, she doesn't know where I am, though. That's good. I heard you were... <laughs> Gee, sure was nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Look, Luigi, look. The princess has taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. I dare you to stop her if you can. You gotta get seven Koopa statues. I like the little lantern that Mario's holding. The only thing that doesn't look... Right. So is that the actual gravestone of Princess Peach? I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to be, but it. Now, if you get all the, if you can find the hidden Luigi in this in this game. I'm gonna go to the left and go in that other room over there, where Peach was before. That she won't be now because she's over there. Because I am smart, and I'm sure she's not in here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, it's the Thwomp guy. I remember this. I like this level, too. I love... This is bringing back some Super Mario 64 nostalgia. I wonder how many there are. I don't trust her. She's going to show up in a minute. Like, I'm way too cautious when it comes to these games. Well, no, I'm. that's not true at all. I'm not cautious enough. So there's one more door. Yeah, here she is. I knew she was coming. I knew you were coming, Peach. She actually looks... Oh, no. With the monochrome... They should make a monochrome Princess Peach. That, with the darker hair, she almost looks like Daisy. Mario! With the red eyes, she looks like Princess... Like, Princess Hilda. Princess Hilda didn't have red eyes, though. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Princess Hilda was just bad. Bye-bye, Peach. Wahoo. let us go yeah, this is actually going on long, way longer than I thought. I was like, the first two times I died in like the first few seconds. So. If you come back in right away, I'm dead. Don't be like that now, princess. Hope she's not in here. Oh, she is. Just because I'm like this. <laughs> so no! 
Donkey Bowser! And with that, I'll be the... See you next time on The Witching Hour. <laughs>